Oh yeah. Stop. This is where the intro music goes. Alright, I just wanted to show everybody an issue I've been having with my ANET ET4. Let's just kind of... This is an ET4 Plus. doesn't say that on the side, but whatever. So I've already talked to tech support about this one. So the issue is with our friend, the old trusty bed leveling sensor. So let's just see what it's doing today. I preheat the bed because temperature makes a big effect on it. Oh. So there's the ground, huh? So, I got a few tips on uh, how I fix it. I got a new sensor I got to solder in, but uh, I talked to Ana, and these are kind of what they walked me through on how to do it. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, we see what happens when it's not loving it. Uh, it stops too high, but check this fun out. We go home. The same action. So props to the ANET troubleshooting team. They were able to figure it out after a single email. Uh, their email says use a flat blade screwdriver to adjust this until the light just lights up. So this is how I've been doing it. Okay, now that it's where it should be, according to Ain't we'll use our trusty blade screwdriver. So we're just gonna back this out until the contact light turns off. And the more times I do this, uh, I just know this sensor is doomed. And then I like to bring it in until it turns back on. And I do this a couple times just to make sure I got the spot right up. Right there. We'll go ahead and home it again. Let's see if that improves our situation at all. Now, as the temperature of the bed changes, uh, all this constant calibration is going to change. But that's how I've been able to get a laser to work for now while I wait for the new one to ship from China. Uh, I know that helped me. I hope that helps somebody else. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys next time. Well, our new sensor arrived. But its cable's super short, so... Uh, wish me luck. Let's see how my soldering skills are going to do us today. Well, it's not the prettiest there ever was, but it should work. Done quite a few repairs. Had to upgrade the fan. It died. Uh, at the same time, I guess, you know, apparently it's never just one thing. But let's see how we are doing. Oh, the excitement. Glad I need that paper. Oh, yeah. perfect and I didn't even have to mess with it. Couldn't ask for more. Alright, well, I have uh, done quite a few successful prints since changing out that laser. Um, I really haven't had to mess with it since just getting it straight and level the first time after it went in. Uh, not sure what was up with the original one I got from the printer. That wasn't but a few months old. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that helps somebody else. Uh, the first time that head rammed itself into the bed, it sure uh, freaks me out. But no big deal. Easy to fix. The workaround included. Alright guys, have a good day. One last thing real quick. Aina had a great suggestion on how to test if your sensor is bad. They want you to take the bed leveling sensor out of the hot end, put it in your hand, go ahead and click the home button as it 
starts to head down towards the bed like it would normally be searching for the bed, you want to touch the inductive part, uh, and that should stop it in its tracks. Uh, they wrote it a little differently, but that's my interpretation of this fancy email. And so I'm pretty sure what Aiden is suggesting is if your sensor was to fail entirely, uh, if you had it out in your hand as the head moves down and you were to touch this inductive part down here, uh, the light should come on, the head should stop moving. Uh, now on this sensor, as it was on its way out, uh, it was still sensing, uh, but it was changing its depth every time it came back down the printer head. So that is a good tip from Anet, uh, though it was not going to find that this sensor was not acting properly. But uh, it always helps to have a little bit of insight from the manufacturer. So I reached out to ANET to try to find the replacement sensor. Uh, they told me they have no replacement sensor for the ANET to sell. Uh, they did give me the part number, however, which was helpful. It's an LJC12A3-4 CZ slash BX. Uh, after some time on the internet, though, uh, I was unable to find one with the Charlie uh, before the Z after the 4. Uh, and this is the sensor that I picked up on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, this is the one that worked for me. Uh, in hindsight, I wish I got one with a little longer cable, but it worked. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.